Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabanzi, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And it looks like we got a little bit of controversy today, but before we get into it, uh, please make sure you like the video and sub to the channel. Be sure to check out the Dreamers Pro podcast. We have pinned below uh, so you don't miss, uh, you get our full shows. Anyway, we get into this topic here. So it looks like there's a little bit of drama taking place at uh espn especially on espn first take so what happened yesterday on espn first take and all throughout the network on get up and other shows but on espn first take they had a, a panel of molly Ka molly Karam, tim legler uh and jason williams and during that panel they were discussing the events that had occurred between the golden state warriors and the orlando magic when dream on green got tossed <coughs> excuse me when he got ejected out of the game in the first quarter uh, with about four minutes to go in the first quarter. So what happened? Um, he got ejected. Draymond Green went out there and made a comment or explained why he did it. Um, so they were reacting to that. In the midst of all of that, Jay Williams then begins to disclose the fact that, um, you know, how he knows Stephen Curry and how privately Stephen Curry seems to be frustrated at the way things are going. And then as he was speaking, he got to the point where he was talking about Stephen Curry's legacy. Uh, and he was essentially saying that, listen, there's some folks close to me that, uh, are prominent figures in the NBA community that were basically asking the question, what about Stephen Curry? Why isn't he able to reel in, uh, Draymond Green? Why can't he find a way to curtail Draymond Green's emotions? But apparently what happened was as Jay Williams was saying that, um, he feels as if the network cut his uh cut that segment short and what ended up happening was people then started going out there and saying jay williams is the one talking about stephen curry's legacy before we even get into any of this this video is brought to you by a sponsor price picks price picks is really simple instead of just selecting a team you just select two or more players pick more or less their projected stats and then you place your entry for example this week i'm selecting two entries stephen curry for more than 25 points and then i got anthony davis for more than two blocks and damian lillard for more for more than four three pointers made price picks is also the only daily sports platform with an injury insurance policy so for example if you have a player who gets injured in the first half and doesn't return to the second half that player gets automatically rebooted what I also love about Price Picks is that it offers weekly promotions like Taco Tuesdays. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. So go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match of up to $100. That's go to pricepick.com slash CLNS, use code CLNS for a first deposit match to, of up to $100. And once again, once you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we want to do is want to play the first audio of Jay Williams yesterday on ESPN First Take discussing this. And then we're going to come back and then get into what he said uh, after the show had uh, concluded. So take a listen to what he said here on on uh, ESPN First Take yesterday. Yeah, right. At this stage of his Lee career, Lee. at 36 years old, for the numbers he's putting up to drag this team in that position, he deserves better. And one of the things that's happening about it is it, I'm getting texts from people that I really value their decision, right? High level people. And what these texts are reading is, well, how about the leadership of Stephen Curry? That's where these conversations are going. And in my brain, right, processing information, Molly. Wait, I what start, do you mean? How about the leadership of Stephen Curry? They're calling this. Steph out? Yes, oh. right? For him not controlling Draymond. So in my, in my brain, the way I process is that is because I know Steph. I spent time around Steph. We were talking about this during Get Up. We wish we could have a camcorder in Steph's car, right? Yeah. We, like all yeah. the things that Steph would be yeah. saying right. to his wife and right. how he's frustrated about because he's one of the most competitive dudes you'll ever meet. No doubt. Draymond Green is diminishing the ultimate legacy of how people are looking at the leadership of Stephen Curry. That's what's happening will, right only now. The only thing I will say, Jay, I think that's in a a group of people. I agree. I don't think that's like the universal mentality, right, is to think about Steph. And where are you in this, Steph, at all? I do think there are people that are always going to be devil's advocate. They're contrarians. They're going to raise Let this me, kind of question about yeah. somebody. Well, to me, that's an ultimate I, statement. What does this I don't, have I don't, to do with Steph, though? Like, what should Steph well, be doing here? What are, what are these critics saying? These people are saying that Steph should not. Well, look, I disagree with them. Let me yeah, state yeah, that for yeah. the record, right? Because I know him. I know how things have been addressed yeah. internally multiple times. 
But what happens is perception is reality for a lot of people. A lot of people aren't familiar with things that are happening behind closed doors. So there's a tendency when you hear them talk about it, people just keep tiptoeing around it instead of calling Draymond Green out publicly. Now, yeah. I get that, right? Like, I understand that. That's not the case because we know what's going on, Legs. But that's what's happening, even if it is a smaller niche of people. Like, these are high-level people now that are starting to look at it that way. And by the way, like, that to me is on Draymond. Yeah. That's on Draymond because I think Steph is taking the higher road and how to deal with it. Can we play the, we play the Steph sound again? Yeah, Cass, that's we, about as strong as you're ever going to get. Can we play from that him? really yeah, quick? Yeah, that's that's the way Steph deals right. with it. So you heard what he had to say. So apparently what happened was after the show had finished, I'm assuming that people started reaching out to him like, yo, bro, what are you talking about? This and this and this. And Jay Williams was probably like, but wait a minute. I didn't say that's what I felt. He said that's what people are saying, but I don't believe that this is affecting Stephen Curry's legacy. So what happened? He took to Instagram Live to basically go out there and call out ESPN first take for cutting his segment short to basically stir up controversy. And now people are getting at Jay Williams all over the internet talking about, yo, bro, why are you taking a shot at Stephen Curry's legacy? So for those of you who didn't hear what he had to say after the show had ended, I want to play it for you now and then come back and give you guys our thoughts. Take a listen to what he had to say here. So first take, this is what we're going to do. My segment got clipped off when I said that Draymond Green is diminishing the ultimate legacy of Steph Curry. The reason why I said that, and on the back end of what I said, was that I had people that were texting me, talking about the leadership of Steph, which if the clip had continued, which it did not, but if it had continued, what I said is that I do not believe that to be the case. That I know who Steph is and I know how he operates and it doesn't do him any good speaking publicly when you hear about all the conversations they're having internally. But once again, the clip makes it sound as if I am the one that believes that his legacy is being diminished. When inevitably I said that I'm getting texts from people that are saying that when I do not believe that. So we're just clarifying, clearing things up because now when I'm getting a lot of people adding me saying that this is stupid, why would Jay will say, that's not what I said. I do not believe it's diminishing the legacy of Steph Curry. His legacy speaks for itself. I'm saying outside interpretations from people that I'm getting texts from are saying that to me. And I wanted to dispel that. So let's just set things straight for what they are. So you heard what Jay Williams had to say. What are my thoughts about this? First of all, <laughs> um, does this surprise me? No, it doesn't. Why? Because all of these people are trying to make money. All of them, right? They're trying to make money. And they know that controversy sells. You know, here's what's interesting. Um, some people come to our channel and say, oh, you know, all you guys was talk about drama, stories, where does this happen and where is that happening? You know, you guys are not really talking about the X's and O's of basketball. Number one, I don't know why I need to be taking advice from you guys, number one. But number two, let's address the point that you brought up here's what gets me for the people that go out there and say this for example about our 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 platform you then decide to go to their platform to see well what kind of content are they producing and you look up and you're seeing videos of was michael jordan on uh, on uh performance enhancing drugs you look up videos breaking this get so and so gets totally blah slammed and blah and obliterated and i'm like hmm Something interesting is happening here. These guys are saying that they don't like the content that we produce, but then you go to their platforms and they're doing the exact same thing. And then it, then it becomes apparently clear that what's happening is the following. Uh, number one, they don't like our, our content, our platform. So therefore they want us to stop doing what works for us, but then they want to copy exactly what we're doing and hopefully it works out for them but then expect me to take them seriously. Like, how, where, where did they do that at? Where did they do that at? Uh, I digress. In the case of ESPN, it's not the first time. You can see certain ESPN thumbnails, f fire alarms going off, heated exchange things, nothing happened, right? But they're trying to sell controversy because they know that that's what people want to see. Period, end of story. Now, uh, Jay Williams was probably caught in, caught in the crosshairs, but here's what's interesting. The first audio we played was a clip from ESPN first take. Now, what is unclear to me is that, yes, they ended it. They ended it, you know, abruptly. They didn't play the full segment. 
what's unclear to me is that did he say more after that clip was ended? Uh, you know, after, at the end of that clip, and that's really what he's talking about because I only heard what he said on that clip. I didn't see it live on television, so I don't know. But for him to go online and then immediately call out the network and the show that he was just on for basically going out there and making it look like he was the one that was getting at Stephen Curry and not people are coming for him. Uh, it lets you know that he was very, very upset about it. But I think that was outside the control of uh, Jay Williams. But nevertheless, for him to have the balls to go out there and say something, it means that he was really upset about it. So what I want to know from you guys, what do you think about this Jay Williams situation with ESPN first take? Do you think it was just miscommunication or do you think that no, they purposely uh, cut him short to make it look like he was saying that Stephen Curry's legacy is being impacted? Whatever you guys think, uh, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. We catch you guys on the next show. Peace.